Hello and welcome to the LifeSpark system pump and controller setup. This training is designed to provide you with the basic operating instructions for the LifeSpark system and should be used as a supplement to the LifeSpark operations manual and LifeSpark pump and priming tray directions for use. In the U.S., the LifeSpark system is intended to pump blood through an extracorporeal circuit for periods lasting less than six hours for the purpose of providing either one, full or partial cardiopulmonary bypass, for example, circuit includes an oxygenator during open surgical procedures on the heart or great vessels, or two, temporary circulatory bypass for diversion of flow around a planned disruption of the circulatory pathway necessary for open surgical procedures on the aorta or vena cava. Module 1. System Components and Setup This section reviews all controller and kit components, as well as initial setup of the LifeSpark controller. The LifeSpark system is comprised of a reusable controller and a sterile single-use pump. The LifeSpark pump is a non-pulsatile centrifugal pump capable of delivering up to 8 liters of flow per minute with an operating range of 2,000 to 7,500 revolutions per minute. The LifeSpark pump is a centrifugal pump which uses a rotating impeller to cause blood to flow. Blood enters the housing near the rotating axis and is accelerated by the impeller, flowing radially outward into a collection chamber from which it exits into the circulatory system. The rotor assembly is energized by a brushless DC motor, is stabilized with two permanent magnets providing centering, radial forces, and upward axial forces to a single point ruby pivot bearing. The pump is shipped with a pre-attached pump inflow tubing, indicated by the blue stripe, pump outflow tubing, indicated by the red stripe, and a 12-foot pump power drive line which connects to the controller. The LifeSpark controller includes a charging dock, four batteries, flow sensor, a 12-foot power cord, and an IV pole clamp. To enable effective pump priming and de-airing, user-supplied equipment such as tubing clamps and sterile saline should be ready and available prior to device implementation. The LifeSpark system can be used with the Tandem Heart, Protec Duo, Tandem Life, and Tandem Long product lines. Each product is packaged in a convenient procedure kit box. Procedure kits are available with a variety of cannulae French sizes and lengths. Please contact your local Tandem Life representative to receive the most up-to-date LifeSpark catalog. Let's unbox each kit. The Tandem Heart and Protect Duo are used to provide temporary cardiac bypass support. The Tandem Heart LA-FA Bypass Kit includes a LifeSpark pump, a pump holster, a transeptal cannula with introducer, a two-stage transeptal dilator, an arterial cannula with introducer, and a thigh wrap. The Protec Duo RAPA bypass kit includes a LifeSpark pump, a pump holster, a Protec Duo cannula with introducer, a venous dilator kit, and a thigh wrap. The Tandem Life and Tandem Lung Kits are used to provide temporary cardiopulmonary or pulmonary support. The Tandem Life Kit includes a sterile priming basin with pre-assembled pump and oxygenator, green oxygen supply tubing, a venous drainage cannula with introducer, a venous dilator kit, an arterial cannula with introducer, a thigh wrap, and a pump and oxygenator holster. The Tandem Lung Kit includes a sterile priming basin with a pre-assembled pump and oxygenator, green oxygen supply tubing, a Protec Duo cannula with introducer, a venous dilator kit, a thigh wrap, and a pump and oxygenator holster. The Tandem Lung Procedure Kit is available with either the classic Protec Duo RAPA cannula set or the Protec Duo Rapid Deployment Cannula Set, which drains blood from the IVC and reinfuses blood into the RA. Prior to powering on the system, ensure that the batteries are properly installed in the LifeSpark controller and dock. 
The system includes four batteries, complete with a charge status indicator, removable tab, and a specialty keyed battery housing. The first step in setting up your LifeSpark controller is to insert two batteries into the controller. Open the battery door on the controller. Then, insert each battery with the logo facing away from the controller's main screen. Verify that the groove on the battery aligns with the keyed battery housing. Please ensure that the batteries are fully seated and the silver toggle is placed evenly over each battery. Note, additional batteries may be purchased separately for backup. Follow the same process to install the two batteries into the dock. The controller and dock can be used in tabletop configuration or attached to an IV pole utilizing the IV pole clamp provided with the system. First, verify that the controller is fully seated into the dock and connect the power cord to the rear of the dock. Plug in the AC power cord to an AC outlet. The controller can operate when seated in the dock and connected to AC power or when separated from the dock with charged batteries. To remove the controller from the dock, locate the latch mechanism on the left side of the dock. Press down the latch mechanism and simultaneously pull the controller out of the dock. To attach the dock and controller to an IV pole, first attach the IV clamp to the IV pole and tighten the clamp firmly in place. Next, find the mounting plate on the back of the dock and slide it into the mounting bracket located on the IV clamp. To remove the dock and controller from the IV clamp, find the lever located on the mounting bracket. Push down and simultaneously lift up on the controller handle. 